What's up guys? Several months ago I made a, uh, a logo review of the 2018 Winter Classic. I did the Sabres one and I did the Rangers ones. Now it is Black Friday and both jerseys were revealed this week. Wednesday the Sabres revealed theirs and today, like I said, it's Black Friday, the Rangers revealed theirs. So what we're going to do is I'm going to review both of the jerseys, give you my opinion, what I like and what I don't like about both jerseys, and we're going to go from here. So I'm going to kick this off with the Buffalo Sabres. As you probably saw in those pictures, the jersey is very different. And you also have to keep in mind, the, the logo, this logo, and everything else on it is all new. Everything about it is new. So the logo is new, the jersey is new, everything is new for this team. And when people saw that the Sabres were doing something different, a logo that they've never used before until the Winter Classic coming up, they thought, let's create something different. And sure enough, they exceeded my expectations and created something different. And they did not disappoint. I, I am so happy that they made this jersey because the one thing I absolutely love, and it's even on my hat, and I got this this morning, by the way, is this stripe. I love this stripe. I was thinking that when I first saw the, the, the picture of the stripe, I thought they were going to do something like maybe like put it up here or somewhere in the bottom, like the original Winter Classic jersey from 2008. But instead, they put it in a completely different version of it, and they put it across the arms. And the big blue, royal blue pattern, the royal blue... Kudos to the Sabres for doing that because that's almost perfect to where that jersey stands. It is so beautiful. And the logo itself really stands out. And it says NY on the bottom. And it has the new the, the new logo here on the shoulder patch and on the other side. It says Winter Classic. It is gorgeous. I love the blue lettering. The only thing I don't like about the jersey is... There's not enough yellow in it. I know that sounds a little bit schizophrenic, but I, I'm almost at the point where it's like, there has to be a little more yellow. I wish they added it, like a yellow lining, into the um, into the lettering, but it, it looks decent in general. I like it. But I don't think they want to make it too modern, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think they wanted to go out of their way to... Um, to make it almost feel like it's the current ones, you know what I mean? Like... It's hard to describe, really. Like, the Royal Jersey, for example. They don't, want, they don't want to make it, like, exactly identical to that one. So, that's what I think is coming to conclusion for that one. But, the whole jersey alone is gorgeous. I love it. I absolutely love it. So, now, we're going to get to the New York Rangers. Here are the Rangers. As shitty as that Rangers logo is, the simple shield and says NY on it, as crap as that logo is, the jersey itself is actually not terrible. I, I actually think the jersey looks a lot better and exceeded, you know, I honestly didn't expect them to make it that nice. I really didn't. But there are some major issues with it. The first one is, is that why the fuck is the Rangers logo, the NY logo, not on the shoulder? That's what I want to know. Why is it in the middle? <laughs> That's really my only question. And everything else about it is very... It almost reminds me... I mean, it's not exactly the same jersey, but it almost reminds me, if you remember, I'm sure most of you have, it's from the current era a couple years ago. The alternate jersey that said New York going across and had the navy blue on it. That's what this jersey reminds me of. And it, it's basically they took a 1930s vintage look and put the Rangers on it. And... Basically, that's what they did. The stripe, the color is really nice as well. I mean, the red and white really stand out. Um, I think one other thing I also notice about the jersey is with the patch, even though I just shit it on it, the most creative thing I think they did with this jersey is the Sabres technically kind of did this. Almost. Maybe the Calgary Flames. I'm not really sure, but whatever. I'm going to just say the Calgary Flames. Is that... They took, if, you're in a, if you have an assistant captain or a captain, or like Ryan McDonough, let's say. Ryan McDonough would have the, the letter C for captain on the, on the logo. It's basically the shield, and it has the, uh, the A or the C on it, whatever, whatever you are. Everyone else has the same thing, but it just says NY on it. It's interesting, actually. Um, that's basically where it stands. I mean, 
it's it's a nice color. I mean, the lettering is nice. The stitching is beautiful as well. But, like I said, it's a little bit too... I mean, I'm not going to say it's too authentic. I'm not saying that at all. What I do think is, is that... I think it's a little strange that they went with the patch here, not up here, like the Buffalo Sabres did. The Sabres did that, and I think that worked out perfectly. Because where else were you going to put it? I mean... Instead of the two cross swords on the leg, I, they could have put the bison there. But the Rangers, I mean, I don't know what you were going to do with that, to be honest with you. I, I really don't know. I really can't describe that. It, it's almost to the point where it's like, you have a Ranger jersey, put it together, and you only use this logo. What were you going to do with it? But to be honest, I think they did a little bit better than most people exceeded their expectations. Because I think it was yesterday on Thanksgiving that they actually linked the original concept, it was just too plain. It looked like very similar to the current jersey. It was the dark navy blue. It just said Rangers. They didn't really have anything in particular on it. But then they came out this morning and they look a lot better than the link one. I'll show you the link right here. But in overall, though, that's really all I had to say about the Ranger jersey. All right. So, in my opinion, Let's break it down. The Sabres jersey is nice, and the Rangers one nice, is nice as well. Both of them are really well done. I think they both did a really good job with these jerseys. Like I said a little bit before, I think the Rangers jersey with the patch on the front, I think that's just a little ridiculous. And the Sabres jersey is gorgeous. I just wish there was a little more yellow in it with the lettering and stuff like that, with the numbers. That's basically where it stands. But if I had to pick one... I mean, as, an, I mean, as a fan, obviously, I'm going to say Buffalo because, you know, it's a nicer jersey. In my opinion, but if you're an outsider, let me think. Let me know what you think. Do you like the Rangers one? Or do you like the Sabres one better? But me, I'm obviously going to say the Sabres because that's a little bit of a better jersey than the Rangers one, but it's whatever. So put it down in the comment section below and get back to me as soon as you can. Put out your opinion out there. I'd love to hear what you guys think. What's your favorite Winter Classic jersey of all time? And put it in the comment section below as well. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.